hello guys so today I'm going to be cooking scrapple eggs and home fries my home fries are already in the oven yes but a lot of people they don't know how to cook scrapple but the thing about scrapple is you gotta let it sit in there and cook don't keep flipping it over and stuff like that you want to make sure you cut it thick enough and that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you guys later when I get my eggs in there. How to really cook those eggs and make sure that they're not hard and nice and moist and melt in your mouth. Just like butter. So, I'm going to see you guys back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So, I'm ready to put these eggs up in here. And I use olive oil. I don't use butter. I hardly ever use butter ever. But you want to have it down on medium. Don't ever cook your eggs on high. I'm doing scrambled eggs. And I put Parmesan cheese in here. And... I'm going to put Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of pink salt. So you always want to cook those eggs on medium. Don't go any higher or you will have nicely dry eggs. And I don't know about y'all. But I don't like nobody's dry eggs. No, I do not. Look how fluffy they are. Look at that. Now, another trick that I can tell you guys is after you're pretty much done with your eggs and stuff cooking you're going to take it off the burner because if you leave it on there even if you turn it off it can cook your eggs and they'll be hard so that's what i'm about to do right now and i will see hello guys welcome back so today i'm going to be eating in this video i got scrambled eggs with cheese scrapple and home fries yes so let me pray heavenly father thank you for this food i'm about to receive and nourish my body and bless everybody in the world who is going through hard times amen yes so i have this v8 splash kiwi strawberry i was like i've been drinking too much soda i really need to drink some juice or something I had my ketchup. You know the best is Heinz. Oh my god, I thought he oh, okay. I was about to say. Who puts egg I mean who puts ketchup on their eggs? I don't. But I know some people that do. They said they like it. So let's start. If y'all don't know what scrapple is, scrapple is basically everything they take the um pig skin nose brain everything and they grind it all up in the machine and then a little sheet like this see that comes out it's very good and very tasty mm. I love scrapple. I haven't had scrapple in a long time. But when I do eat it, I enjoy it. A lot. If you haven't tasted it, you should try it. 
Yeah, it's good. But my thumbnail chew my food out good at first Give me a good thumbnail, please. You do it. But. With home fries. Mm. I wanted to talk to y'all about. These two mukbangers that are really going at each other. And I feel like right now. Put a little bell parmesan on that. I feel that right now they're not going to make up. It's just too much going on with them two. I mean they are back and forth with each other. And that's. Um, tasty mukbang eats and Taj time. If you're new to this channel, we really don't do a lot of drama over here. I mean, I've done a couple videos, but me and my subscribers, we like to listen to it. We don't really like to deal too much into it. At all. Just move. So yeah, we don't like to deal in that too much, but we do not like to listen because we want to know what's going on. And we want to know what not to get ourselves into. But um It's been crazy because I watched one of Tasty's videos like the night before and she was crying. And she keep playing people lying on her. But let me tell you one thing about um, Tosh Time about her um her subscribers, they're not stupid. Like, they listen very carefully. And they put stuff together. And, like, I hope that Tasty didn't do that to that lady. Because we really don't know if that really is the lady or somebody playing games. But the way it sounded, it sounded like it was really that lady. But it's alleged, I'm allegedly saying because we really don't know if it's really that lady. We really don't know. Mm. That's good. 
But if it's not her, if I were you, Casey, I would try to find out who it was. I try to do a little bit of digging. I know you can't do much, but it's a lot of people. And you two, you guys need really need to um crack down on these people that can make all these fake accounts. And be be doing this kind of stuff. But I would say what I would do. I would try to do some digging. And find out what's going on. Oh, that's good. 70 calories. But yeah, that's what I would be doing. I would be trying to figure out who it is. Yeah, but it's heated between them two. They ch taking shots back and forth. When Tasty makes a video, Tosh Khan makes a video. <laughs> when Tosh Khan makes a video, Tasty makes a video. And below, she just doing her thing. She's not letting it bother her. With her and Tasty about where. That's how a scrapple is supposed to look. See the thickness? That's how thick you really supposed to cut it. So you won't have trouble flipping it. Because I think a lot of people, they cut it too thin. And then you have trouble. Mm, excuse me. Flipping it. And another thing I like about scramble is when you put it in a refrigerator and you warm it back up, it's still crispy. That's the thing I can say about scramble. But if you haven't tried it, try it. You might like it. You might really like it. Because at first I, th I thought I wasn't going to like it. I like scramble. And what is it? I was like, mm mm. Mm mm. I probably nasty. But it was really good. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I got a lot of stuff to do before I send the um before I do the gift giveaway.
subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. I did reach 1,000. So I'm very super excited about that. But I want to make sure these gifts are up to par and they're good. So give me some time to put them together. Maybe a week. And then I will, um, I will let y'all know who won. Who won the gift giveaway? Because I also got to get my P.O. box. I thought the lady had put it in. I just want to make sure you do it. Come on, lady. Mm. Oh, my God. Me and my husband went to the grocery store. <laughs> the last night. I don't put that up this way, but he was like, ew. So, um, I had got him some chicken maple sausage. Because I was like, I'll be wanting to cook you, you know, breakfast in the morning and stuff. He always want to eat bagels and cream cheese. Like, come on. There's some real food in your body. So, tomorrow morning, he's going to have a good breakfast. I'm going to cook them chicken sauces he got. Home fries. Eggs. I might give them to, um... I might give him a bagel since he likes them so much. But, um, Tasty Mukbang and, um, Taj Time. Y'all got to come back together because I like both of y'all. I don't know. Even, no, even one side. Like y'all know, I'm not. Even one side. Take it. Even one side. Mm. And I know y'all like, but you did something on um, Eat With Q. I did. I did do a video on Eat With Q because, you know, Beloved came with receipts. And I know these two have receipts too, but it's a little bit different in my book. I just don't like people coming for people's family. And it's like, she lied. Like, she said everything was okay, but then six months later, you're going to come out with something? Like, that is so pitiful. I don't like people like that, but all you can do is unsubscribe the channel. That's all you have to do. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe the channel. Don't look at them no more. Don't watch them no more. Because the more you watch them, the more support they're going to get. So don't watch them anymore. I know a lot of people, if uh, they don't like a certain person, and I take, I look very careful, like, when I'm on these other channels. And you see them all day because they, they be in everybody's channel, but 
I seen this one girl. She was talking stuff about somebody else's channel. But then I. <laughs> Uh, like a few, like an hour later, I went on that other person's channel. She was over there talking about this person's channel she, that she was just on. Come on, man. Mm. Y'all need to stop going out. You're not even supposed to be picking side, but if you're going to pick a side, stay with it. Because a lot of people try to do that and then they be like, God told me to forgive. And I just be like, stop bringing God in every time. But guys, I'm so super excited to be doing these gifts for you. Three people. It's going to be a nice little care package that you can use. And I'm doing two males and one female. And then the next time I do it, I do two females and one male. My last piece I'm going to eat. I'm going to save the rest of y'all. For tomorrow. But, um. That is so good. Y'all got to get some of that. It's the V8 Splash Kiwi Strawberries. And it has vitamin C and vitamin B in it. Um, I had looked through my comments, um, somebody had asked, they just had told me they just started, and did I have any advice? Let me tell y'all, when I first started, when I did the Lucky Day video, I was like, man, let me just do this Lucky Day video, because, um, I know it's people probably out there want to know how they can, um, win money. Offline, so I did it. I didn't know it was gonna get that many views, but I kept checking it, and it was like at 4,000, and it was at 7,000. I was like, What? I said, Wow, I said, This video is really doing good. So, my advice to you when you first starting off is to take your time on your, even though I ain't know what I, I, I didn't know I was gonna do the video. I took my time and I was explaining how to do the um the app or whatever. So you pretty much you want to take your time. If you can make sure that that video is gonna be good, it's gonna have a lot of information. It's gonna be popping. Cause a lot of people they put their first video and it don't do nothing, but they put the second video and it just take off like that. Um. Some other tips, <coughs> make your um, YouTube channel art, and you, you can do that with Canva. Canva is a, um, is a designer place where you can design your um, thumbnails, you can design your YouTube art channel and stuff like that. Just, just be you. Don't try to be anybody else. Be you. Be yourself. Because a lot of subscribers, they can see through that. They can see if you being fake and you being phony. I know my subscribers can tell if you being fake and phony. And um, that's all you really have to do. Just um, make sure you're putting out good content. Make sure that you're being... Um, 
consecutive you're putting out you're putting out enough videos for the week i at least try to do three videos for the week three to four videos but if you're just starting off at least do two videos a week so that you have that content like that and youtube can push it out um <clears throat> Yeah, but other than that, just stay consistent. Be yourself. And when you start really doing your videos and you can get more money, try to upgrade to like um, different mics. Like this one right here is, um, oh, it's kind of connected because I'm filming on my phone. But this is the Blue Yeti. And this is a, this is a good mic. Oh, hold on, y'all. This thing. Okay. Yeah, so this is a good mic for like talking and stuff like that. Especially if you're doing if you're interviewing somebody, it has different um sets on there so that you can like really hear it because let me tell you this blue yeti, it picks up everything. Like when I'm recording in my room, I have to turn off my turtles tank. Because um, a lot of people said they don't like the water running in the background. <laughs> but my tur I can only turn it off for so long. My turtle needs that because it filters out her water. So I can only have it off for so long because it filters out all uh, it filters out all the dirtiness and it brings back more oxygen in there so she can breathe. So <laughs> that's what I usually do, and then I put plug it back in. But, yeah, the Blue Yeti, that's a great, uh, that's a nice uh, mic that you can have and you can get for, like, if you're doing eating channels, ASMR, and stuff like that. It's kind of expensive, but, you know, it's worth it if you're really going to be serious about your YouTube channel. A lot of people do it for hobby, and you have a lot of people, they do it for you know they doing it they they like they have a business and stuff so you, you you can use this for your business you know i i i use uh youtube for myself you know for my earring business and to promote my earring business and i also um i promote my husband's business <clears throat> snk drywall services like i'm telling you they're really good they're the most the best in Hampton Road area in Virginia. And that's the best you're going to get because I'm telling you, they do it the right way. They're not going to come in your house and try to overcharge you and then do it all sloppily and leave. Because that's what most <laughs> most people do. But not with SNK Drywall Services. They will get you right. So, I will definitely leave that information down in the description box if you need a little bit of repair or you need some home remodeling maybe you uh need some towel your towel is uh it's starting to look real bad or anything look real your walls are starting to look bad anything you need roofing done and stuff like that they can do it for you okay so if you're interested i will leave that down the bottom yes i will and i'm telling you that they're, they're nice people they are really nice people they're very professional they're very respectable because you all sometimes you got people they can do a good job but they they talk shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying they doing all that and you like oh he got a nasty attitude but not not with s and k drywall so you would definitely be making a good choice. I even had um them do my friend's floor. <coughs> Her tile floors, they did an excellent job. She was very satisfied. And if um I can, I might have her on one of my eating shows. I I have to hit her up. Um Yeah, because she's having actually having a housewoman party that we're going to over there. Hopefully we can make it. I'm sure we can. So <coughs> yeah but other than that if you haven't yet please like and subscribe my channel if you're new here to my channel welcome we 
we welcome everybody. We love you here. You know, you're like our family. Th this is all the family right here. And you're safe here. Whenever you come here, you're safe. You don't have to worry about anything. We got your back 100%. So if you messing with any of my subscribers and they tell me, uh, I'm coming for that behind. We all coming for it, all 1,000 of us, okay? <laughs> so with that being said, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. I always like when you come over here and you listen to me ramble on and rant. But I'm doing it for the best. But thank you so much. I love you guys. Always thinking about you. Until next time, peace.